<laughs> what is this? I don't even... Oh, it looks so weird. So, oh my god, it's freaky. So there have been many different variations of Brainiac 5, with the pre-zero hour Brainiac, the post-zero hour, and then there's the Earth Prime Brainiac 5. Brainiac 5 is a Kaluan, a race of green-skinned humanoid species, and every single one of these guys is smarter than normal humans. Even the most average Kaluan has about a level 8 intelligence. At some point, Brainiac decided to go organic, and it created this race of human hybrid Brainiacs. Even though we all know that the original Brainiac was some uber supervillain, Brainiac 5 chose to become a hero and join the Legion of Superheroes. The pre-zero hour Brainiac 5 joined the Legion after they saved him from the Green Lantern Corps. He was trying to see the dawn of time and that is a huge universal no-no. So the Lantern Corps tried to wreck his life. Brainiac was impressed with the Legion so he figured why not give them a chance. He also developed a crush on Supergirl which is hilarious and it was shown in the Justice League Unlimited animated series, you know when she travels to the future. Brainiac is also the one who invented the Legion flight rings. He discovers an isotope with Monel, and I know it's like, what, Monel in the future? The Legion? Yes, it's, it's awesome. Also, because the one thing that every hero needs is the ability to fly. Seriously, that silly little ring is a lifesaver for everyone. He also created the time bubble, which is how all of the Legionnaires can travel through time without horrible flash level consequences. You know what you did, Barry. After a while, this pre-zero hour Brainiac 5 started getting a little unstable, and he creates this pain in the butt computer named Computo, and he killed one of the triplicate girl's bodies. Then he gets lonely and he misses Supergirl, so he creates an android version of her body in his sleep. Then this crazy robo Supergirl almost kills him, almost kills him, and the real Supergirl has to come and save them by killing the robot Supergirl. Awkward. How do you even explain that without looking like a creeper? You don't. You don't get away with that. But somehow he got away with it. And then they ended up on good terms, and he got the kiss. It's ridiculous. But when he fully cracked, he created a whole new threat and a powerful villain named Infinite Man. And Infinite Man was basically the incarnation of time. How do you even fight that? Then he created a machine that created this all-powerful monster called Omega. I just... Brainiac, come on, man. It's understandable that after this, the Legion did not want Brainiac around anymore. He was a huge liability, and he was clearly turning hella evil. One of the biggest moments for this Brainiac was the death of Supergirl during Crisis on Infinite Earths. The saddest part was that he knew that she was gonna die, but he couldn't actually do anything without messing up time itself, so he just had to sit back and let her die. It's horrible. The post-Zero Hour Brainiac was pretty much the same, a Kaluan with his ancestor being Brainiac, and he wanted to atone for Brainiac's sins. Why? I, I don't know. There's no... just... I don't know. This Brainiac has a lot more going on at an early age, though. He became a scientist when he was still just a toddler, and then he was sent to work at the Time Institute. When he joined the Legion this time, it was because he was drafted onto the team. His people told him he had to join the Legion. He creates the flight rings again for the Legion, and he creates a cure for lead poisoning. He uses the cure on a Daxamite named Andromeda, and just like with Supergirl, he develops a crush on her. Brainiac 5 easily has a type. We all see this, right? He's digging on the Kryptonian-powered people, even, I mean, she's Dax, she's a Daxamite, but still, the superpowers under a yellow sun, it's ridiculous. He also used the cure on Monel, but was arrested because he had to travel back in time to give Monel the cure. And for some reason, time travel is illegal. I don't know why. The Brainiac 5 from Earth Prime is kind of weird, and he is a huge jerkwad. He joins the Legion and constantly goes behind Cosmic Boy's back to do whatever he wants. If there's a plan, he just says, okay, and then he does his own version of the plan. This Brainiac 5 constantly brags about how smart he is, and that on his home world, he's a prodigy. I'm a genius even with my people. It, it, I don't understand where the ego came from. Yes, I do. He's a Brainiac. Is that racist? He's tried and succeeded a few times in taking over the Legion just because he doesn't believe that Cosmic Boy is a good leader. In this timeline, instead of falling for a superpowered alien that has immense power under the yellow sun, he falls for Dream Girl. Because he's such a jerk, his first impressions of her was that, oh, he hates her, and that her powers were ridiculous and unpredictable. Then that hate turns into love and he starts acting like a bigger jerk because, you know, he has feelings for her. Because he's so advanced. Now, we've had a few different versions of Brainiac 5 show up before on TV. He was on the Justice League Unlimited animated series when Supergirl, Green Arrow, and Green Lantern traveled to the future to save the Legion. Yeah, you know, heroes from the past have to save heroes from the future. That's how it goes down, guys. He ends up developing feelings for her, and she stays in the future to be with him. Also, she stays in the future, you know, to be her own hero. She doesn't want to be in Superman's shadow, but also because she likes a boy. He also learns a lesson about becoming a better hero even though he's a super genius, because reasons. Then we get a live-action version of Brainiac showing up in Smallville. This version travels back in time to help Clark see the good he's done in the past and what he'll become. 
They have the classic, I can't believe you're really here to help me Brainiac stare down, and a little scuffle that throws Clark into the future, but eventually he sees what he's meant to become and everything works out. The biggest appearance of Brainiac is on the Legion of Superheroes TV show. He was a main character on the show and he was very emotional for a Brainiac. And for some reason, he idolizes Superman to a scary degree. He even goes through a weird evil phase and kills Imperiax. But the show was left on a cliffhanger because it was canceled and we never got to find out if the robot learned to love. But now on the new season of Supergirl, Brainiac is gonna make another live action appearance and he looks like he's not green. But I mean, all right, you know, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll give it up for whatever they're gonna do. I'm not gonna judge them. It looks weird and his hair, I, I don't. But he is part of the Legion on Supergirl and he's gonna be traveling back from the future. He possibly created the Legion flight rings, we'll see. Hopefully Monel will fly because of this. I don't know. Maybe that's why Monel can be back on Earth as well, because Brainiac invented the cure in the future, so Monel's cured and he hasn't told anyone yet. Why? Because we gotta keep you interested in the show. Let me know what you guys think about Brainiac 5 in the comments section below. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.